The next item on the scale is an assessment of facial palsy. To assess facial palsy, you ask or use pantomime to encourage the patient to show me your teeth. If the teeth aren't in, ask them, show me your gums. Open and close the eyes. You can say, squeeze your eyes shut as hard as you can. Raise the eyebrows or lift up your eyebrows as high as you can. The patient needs to look directly at you while performing the requested tasks. For the aphasic, poorly responsive, or non-comprehending patient, use a noxious stimulus. In this case, the symmetry of the grimace is the basis of scoring. I'm going to examine your face. So I want you to show me your teeth. Good. And now relax. Close your eyes real tight. Tighter. Tighter. Very good. Now open your eyes and raise your eyebrows up. That's great. For scale item 4, this patient scored a 1. Let's look at how this scale item is scored. Score the patient a 0 for normal symmetrical movement. Normal function must be clearly demonstrated. Orbital and forehead musculature movements are normal. Score a 1 for minor paralysis, such as a flattened nasal labial fold, or mild asymmetry while smiling. This is the proper score if function is less than clearly normal. Score a 2 if there is paralysis of the lower face. This is the appropriate score for clear-cut upper motor neuron facial palsy. Decreased spontaneous and forced facial movements are most prominent at the mouth. Open your eyes. Look at me. Thank you. Can you show me your teeth? There we go. Score a 3 when there is complete paralysis of the upper and lower face. This is the appropriate score for the obtunded or comatose patient or one with unilateral lower motor neuron facial weakness. Now ask her to do what I do, to show me her teeth. Show me your gums. así. Good. Now close your eyes. Cierra tus ojos. Tightly. Tight. Fuerte. Fuerte. Tight. Tight. Fuerte. Good. And now raise the eyebrows up. Abre los ojos. And raise the eyebrows. Ah, levanta tu ceja. Tu ceja, levántala. Okay. La ceja. Good. Good. The easiest way to score this challenging item is to first decide if the face is normal. If so, score a zero. If the face is not normal, ask yourself if there's a clear-cut asymmetry of the smile. If so, score a two. All other findings, including subtle asymmetries of the nasolabial fold, are scored a one. The score of three is reserved for the very unusual complete facial paralysis seen with some brainstem strokes. Remember to include using noxious stimuli to score the symmetry of grimace in poorly responsive or non-comprehending patients. Also, in the event of facial trauma, remove the bandages, tape, or other physical barriers that might obscure the face.